Stacy? Stacy, you here? <laughs> Babe, I got your message. I'm not sure I completely understand what it means. It means what it said, Frank. It's gone. All of it. Everything we worked so hard for. $650,000 doesn't just disappear. There must be some kind of mistake. There's no mistake. It was hackers. They took everything. Who are you calling? A real estate agent. Don't bother. He stopped returning my calls. And the escrow companies told me the same thing 15 times. Wait for law enforcement. Michelle Sanders, Cybercrimes Task Force. The escrow company brought me up to speed, but I need to get as much information from you as possible. Absolutely. Anything we can do. For starters, can you tell me if you got an email requesting you to change the wiring instructions from your lender to the escrow company? Um, yes. I got one like that a couple days ago from our real estate agent. May I see it? This is it. The smoking gun. Are you sure? I mean, look at all this information it contains. Information only we would know. And it was sent from John Waters, our agent. This is his email address right here. I know it looks like it was sent by your agent, but really, it was sent by hackers. They hijacked your agent's account. W they can do that? Actually send an email from his account? It's a four-step process. I, I can walk you through it. In step one, the hackers use something called an email extractor, software you can buy off the internet that enables them to collect email addresses for thousands of people working in a particular industry. In this case, the real estate industry. Agents, brokers, escrow and title officers, anybody with a real estate related extension in their email address got targeted. Step two involves the hacker sending a phishing email to the thousands of addresses they just harvested. Phishing emails? I've heard of those. They trick people into opening them and clicking on a link or opening an attachment. And the hackers only need one agent to take the bait, and they're in. Then it's on to step three, research. They learn everything from listing addresses to sales prices uh, to loan amounts, escrow and title company names, even full account numbers. Finally, in step four, the hackers use this information by sending an email to the home buyer telling them to reroute funding from their lender to a new fraudulent account. And since the hackers are actually inside the agent's email account, the email looks legit. These people are smart, sophisticated, and their methods are constantly evolving. So how do we protect ourselves? By not trusting email that requests you to send money or wire funds to a different account. Any email like that must be treated as suspicious and must be followed up with a phone call to verify its authenticity. I'd encourage you to contact your lender and ask for a wire recall. It's a long shot since several days have passed, but it's worth a try. Well, is there anything else we should be doing? File for bankruptcy. Immediately. Bankruptcy? Our loan went through. Meaning they're still going to expect payments on a home we don't even own. What about our old house? What happens with that? Ownership has already transferred. That deal is unaffected by this. Well, we can't afford to stay here. So where are we supposed to go? What are we supposed to do? I'm very sorry. <laughs>